Alright guys, a little bit of a different video today. No actual fishing, but I actually picked up an order from Tackle Warehouse that I was supposed to um, have before when I went to Florida. So these lures I would have used if I had got it beforehand. Alright guys, so first up we have this lure lock tackle box that I was supposed to use to store the lures that I got in this shipment, but it didn't come in time. And also the lures didn't come in time, so I didn't get to use it. But it seems to be made out of pretty sturdy plastic and it has a type of sticky adhesive at the bottom so when you're transporting your lures the, the lures don't bounce around. Next up we have some 30 pound Power Pro line. Um, when I was fishing in Florida I used 40 pound because that's what was available at the store so um, it seemed to work fine. Um, the 40 pound at least was Good to handle, no wind knots at all, and the fish didn't seem to mind the color. Boom. Next up, we have the Berkeley Big Game Mono, 30 pounds. That this is the size that I used um, in Florida. Also, um, the visibility in water was not that high. I couldn't really see it in the water, um, so it worked fine. Next up, we have a lure that worked really well. Now surf fishing there. Um, it's the x -Rap size 12 um, glass ghost color and it was imitating the mullet that was running there. Um, this is the freshwater version but um, it worked fine before I lost it in the sea when I casted it off my line. Oh shit. But it's good that we have an extra one here. Next up we have two um, spro jigs or spiro jigs. I don't know how to pronounce it. 3 fourths ounce. Um, really good, I've heard, for surf fishing. I want to try these out um, on the east coast to fish for stripers um, around any structure or jetties. Yeah, look pretty solid. And I think I found um, one of these when I was on the jetty in Florida. Someone had dropped it just on the rocks. So it's good to have more lures. Finally, we have a pencil popper, which I'm really excited to use. The Cotton Cordell uh, bone color, four and three fourths inches and three fourths ounce. Um, really want to try this on some stripers. And I'm gonna re be replacing the hooks on both of these lures with single inline hooks because I was gut hooking too many fish and I didn't really like that. I want the fish to be in top condition when I release it. So, yeah, looks like Two really solid lures, which I'm really excited to try out. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All right, guys, just pulled out two of my lures. Um, the one that I got uh, just now that I opened, and the one that I used in Florida. And I, I thought it would be fun to compare them. So, as you can see, the one I used in Florida is just dinged up from all the fish that have like been and chomped on it, and the rocks that have hit it. And this is a brand new one. Super shiny, super smooth. So, really rusty hooks on this one. Gonna have to replace um, the hooks on this guy. But I'm just gonna save um, this one until I lose this one or this one breaks or something. So, pretty interesting. <laughs> 